Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video today. We have a wonderful topic, massive energy shifts are happening. We'll be talking about symptoms, how to cope with them. We have 777 new moon portal in Cancer. And for all of you highly sensitive people to energies, to everything that's happening right now, I want you to know you're not going crazy you're just upgrading. A major upgrade is happening for you as you're moving through the process of emotional healing, spiritual healing, emotional upgrade. This new moon in Cancer is bringing us a great amount of sensitivity around all spectrum of emotions. It is reminding us that uh, we are made out of um, different systems of life as we have psychological system we have emotional system we have the system of a physical body and we have the energy system that is uniting all of that together and wisdom then is reminding us to organize all the systems so they can function together coherently and all of those massive energy shifts that are happening right now if you check up the Schumann frequency, you will notice the graph is going crazy. You may notice many jumps, ups and downs. And therefore many people may experience the similar energy shifts, ups and downs, you know, the smooth swings, energy swings, emotional swings, mental swings are happening to many of us, especially to more empathic people. Know that there's nothing wrong with you, you're not broken if you're experiencing that, it's completely natural. As all the energies right now are inviting us to go into a greater depth of purification, and we'll talk a lot about this, but it is also invi inviting us into the energy that is awakening uh, within us as the highest form of expression you want to live in. So there's, you know, if you imagine a spectrum of everything in a form of a pyramid, at the top of it there must be blissfulness, there must be love, there must be joy, there must be gratitude. And those are kind of energies we are striving towards. And as we are walking on the path of healing, we are noticing and recognizing what kind of energies are not allowing us to sense what is kind of our natural state. And everything is connected to that pyramid, to that um, triangle shape. And we'll talk about this as well. But before we start, I want to read a quick message for you. As every single day I take a time and what comes to me, I write and share with the community on our Instagram page, Attract Passion. So today's message goes like this. The arrival of today's new moon marks the beginning of a transformative journey towards a renewed version of yourself. What may currently feel confusing or uncertain will soon become clear and understandable. While it may seem like your desired opportunity has yet to come, the present moment offers you a chance to purify your energy, relax and reset. By embracing these moments, you can deeply connect with your inner wisdom. Remember you are exactly where you need to be at this point in your life. Trust that everything will eventually fall into place and make perfect sense. And those are deep words, especially as recently, every time I meditate, all I experience is just let it go, let it be, stop trying to control it. Just let it go, just let things unfold. And more I'm following that um, sensing, more I recognize every time I surrender a certain need for control, something magical happens, a certain manifest manifestation finds me. And I've begun to understand even more than ever before the importance of surrendering, the importance of letting go, the importance of releasing as everything is already taken care of. 
As I'm the source of everything, I just need to allow things to move through me and follow what is coming to me as a sense of guidance. So again, before I mention this um, shape of a triangle, you can imagine a shape of a, a pyramid, two-dimensional. On the top of the pyramid, you will find your higher self, which is your higher order, your highest w uh, wisdom. And that part of it is not actually above you, it's within your heart. More we are opening our hearts, more we start to feel connected with it. But there's a complexity to opening our hearts, as you imagine then the second corner of that triangle, there's the physical self. You find the physical self, and then the question is, what's the quality of connection between your higher self and your physical self? And Capricorn, uh, I mean Cancer right now, is inviting you to notice this connection in a sense of what gives you a sensation of joy, what gives you a sensation of peace, with what uh, gives you a sensation of tranquility, can you nurture that? And it is reminding you that within yourself there's an inner child that is craving the energy you, you, were, you, were, you were seeking outside of you. That inner child is craving that energy from you, from you as your physical self, as a self with a free will. That inner child and your soul is craving you to learn to give to yourself what you need at this point so you can establish a stronger connection with your higher self. So cancer as a deeply sensitive um, vibrational sign is reminding you to find the beauty in your senses. because. Through your senses, you can notice what's good for you. Through your senses, you can notice what can help you to grow. And through your senses, you can notice what is not allowing you to grow. What is kind of pushing you into the box of the matrix where you function out of fear. And you chase things out of fear. And you th do things out of fear. And you feel exhausted and drained out because you've been doing things out of fear for such a long time and that's how the system has used you as every time you do something out of fear you produce the energy that is like a food for the system and cancer then is reminding you that you have to put yourself into the priority and you have to do things out of love, you have to do things out of what feels right, out of righteousness. That's why many of us right now may be deeply magnetized towards ancient wisdom where people were talking about righteousness, where people were talking about how to live in coherence with the universal will, if we study ancient philosophies, have you read anything about um, ancient philosophies? About how to live in moderation, how to live in will uh, of nature? Like, um, it, it started happening to me last year, when we were in Barcelona in Spain, I went into a bookstore, as every time we travel I went, um, I go into a bookstore and if a book, certain book calls me, I go and read it and uh, eventually I know why, why I needed to read it. So when we were in Spain I was um, deeply called to one book uh, by Aristotle and that's where I've started to to study more of the subjects that they were talking about and I've noticed, well, it's not new. It's not new what they were, you know, when they were talking about self-control and they were talking, Aristotle especially is talking about ethics. He was deeply studying nature and he was learning what the term soul truly means, what human psyche truly is and what's the function of the soul. 
as he said, the function of the soul is that it has its abilities and capabilities and our mission then is to discover them, nurture them and explore their potentials. So that's one of the reasons we are alive, to learn to explore our potentials. And if you study some other philosophies, if you go into spiritual philosophies, well, we find same knowledge there, just different language. But if you study philosophy in schools, they're teaching you only about dates and names and histories and where they were studying. But nobody truly tells you from where their knowledge came. Right? And that's why many people may be drawn right now into ancient philosophies. Because all the synergy shifts that are happening, they're pushing to the surface what was kind of suppressed and hidden from society. It's coming to the surface once again, so we can acknowledge those ancient people. They were not talking about why you should control yourself so you would be good for the matrix, so you would be good for the system. They were talking about why you should be moderate, because nature is all about moderation. Why you should be righteous, because life is righteous. Life works out of righteousness. You go into nature, nature is sustainable for all the creature. We've made the system that is unsustainable for us by ourselves. And now our job is to shift it back into the natural order that can be good and sustainable for all. And that's the shift that is happening, but it will not happen by itself. We need to make it happen. We need to unite. We need to gather our minds together and brainstorm and find a solution and find a way how to make it happen. But only if we stand together and unite in a sense where everyone can bring to the table what is uniquely yours, right? What your soul has to offer here. And that's what we see that is happening all around the world. So firstly, symptoms of these energy shifts right now are that you feel extremely tired of, as you've been working so hard and trying to impress others. Now cancer is saying to you, you should impress no one else but yourself. So try your best to impress yourself by taking care of yourself the way you need to be taken care of. And do your best at that. If you need to meditate for five hours a day, if you need that, do whatever you need. And be impressed by the love you can give to yourself, by the capacity of love you can give to yourself. That's something you need to know right now. Especially you more highly sensitive people, you need that the most because your heart is so beautiful that you're willing to do everything that is in your power to make sure that somebody else will not be suffering. That's how beautiful your heart is. That's how beautiful your heart is. But you do it for the price of your own suffering. So you're willing to take away a suffering of somebody else and place it onto yourself because that's how generous and hospitable you are. But then cancer is also reminding you, hey, you need to shake off that because it's, it's not sustainable. You need to learn to take care of this because it, it is not helping you to be who you came here to be. It's beautiful to, be, to have an open heart, but you have to also have balanced energy. And to have balanced energy, you have to know how to take care of yourself. You have to know how to take care of your physical body. You have to know how to take care of your psychological self. You have to feed yourself with information that inspire you, that uplift you, that brings you inner peace ra rather than chaos and stress and fear and toxicity. There's nothing wrong with fear when it's taken in moderation. Remember, a guy without a fear becomes reckless, but a guy with too much fear becomes a coward, right? And we're living in a world where there's so many cowards and some reckless people <laughs> as well. But the moderation then is 
the sweet spot that nature offers to us when we learn to balance our inner nature and we learn to work with the voice of nature. So before, as I mentioned, the triangle position at the top, there's higher self. In the lower corner, let's say left corner, there's physical self. And then the third corner, what's the third corner there? It's your action, your embodiment of your first connection between yourself, your physical self, your mental self, emotional self, and higher self. So when you establish better connection with your higher self, as new moon in Cancer, we have 777 energy once again. As we have 17th of July 2023, a wonderful alignment of beautiful loving energy. All that energy requires now is your focus and your discipline to align yourself with what feels right, with what brings joy, with what awakens love within you. All you need to focus on is to recognize what feels right, what brings joy, and what awakens love within you. And if you identify what is not allowing you to do that, you have to then structure your life the way that you stop maintaining those old things, that you stop supporting the soul energies and eventually your energy will rise but even practices to raise your energy like a meditation where you plug to the energy of love something that dr joe dispenza is doing is really incredible right now at this phase to move through those massive energy shifts it will help you so much to stay in that higher energy and to detach from lower ones that are not sustainable for you anymore a really important uh, reminder here. So symptoms right now are that you feel maybe extremely tired. You feel confused and not having clear understanding of what's happening in your life. Why things are so shaky right now. And I just want to let you know, you don't need to clearly know everything because time will, will allow clarity to appear if you are taking care of yourself, nurturing that connection and embodiment, embodying what comes to you from that inner sensing. When you connect to what's right and you embody it, you, you practice it, you put it into work. Do you know what I mean? When something comes to you, like, um, for example, as it came to me, just work on releasing, just let it go. Whatever you feel like you have to control, just let it go. And see, every time you will fully let go and, and tap into the energy of peace, of acceptance, of love for creation, a magic will happen. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm noticing there are degrees to surrendering. And... I'm just noticing I'm getting better and better at it. More I surrender, more I become charged with... Um, I don't know what word to use. But it feels like charged with life. And I want to remind you to focus on what feels right right now. On that inner inner sense, as cancer is all about sensitivity, it's, you know, it's easy right now to notice what your higher self is telling to you. There's a stronger connection. There, there's another symptom to this energy, a stronger connection with your higher self. So, for example, when you go into bed before you go to sleep, if you just quiet down your mind, you may you may hear a voice. It may come from your higher self. It may come from that inner wisdom. Or it may come from some guidance. And if it awakens a sensation of righteousness, if it awakens a sensation of joy, if it awakens a sensation of love, then it's indicator that it's for your highest possible good. And know that all the blocks that are kind of disturbing this connection between 
your physical self and your wisest possible self, all those traumas and emotional blocks, those are just, um, let's say, ways that through them you will come to the highest possible version you can be. Through them. It's not avoiding them and suppressing them, but through them. Because there's so much wisdom in pain. So much. If you've been through something traumatic, you will notice there's so much wisdom once you discover why it needed to happen in your life. And this present time may speed up this process because it's necessary for us because we shouldn't just rest and heal and do nothing. We should move with those realizations further and unite with others and do something out of it. So my friends, take it easy, <laughs> be easy on yourself and be really, really good listener right now of what may come to you. So to cope with those energies right now, you know everything you need to know at this point. And once again, I want to remind you that you are exactly where you need to be at this point in your life. I hope it can awaken a sense of trust and a sense of courage that whatever is finding you right now is only for you to detach from unsustainable energies and get back into that source energy that is teaching you how to love even more, how to be joyful even more, how to do things that awaken joy within you and what are those things that awaken joy within you. So, my friends, stay beautiful, stay creative. I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting. To anyone who would like to support my art, you can find my work in our Etsy shop, I Draw My Passion. The link is in the description below. Go there and check it out. Stay beautiful. Until next time, one love. <laughs>